In this celebration of the Eucharist, we join Ambrose Muzahura to pray for continuous divine providence through the intercession of Mother Mary and Saint Daniel Comboni, and to pray for the quick recovery of his mother. Ntezi Emmanuel celebrates his baptismal day today and thanks the Lord for this gift. He prays for the grace to live God's will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves for this encounter in which we celebrate the sacred mysteries, the Paschal mysteries of Christ, our own victory, that the Lord may look kindly upon us, grant us mercy, so as to benefit from the sacrifice of the Eucharist, which Christ himself offers to God, the Father for the entire world. I confess to the Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. This is our prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord disciplines him whom he loves. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exaltation which addresses you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor lose courage when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines him whom he loves, and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. Later, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to, whom, to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak, weak knees and make straight path for your feet, so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Strive for peace with all men and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness spring up and cause trouble, and by it the many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. Our response is, the mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. It's everlasting upon those who call him in fear. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
and all within me his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who call him in prayer. As a father has compassion on his children, the Lord's compassion is on those who fear him, for he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are dust. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who call him in fear. But the mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. Upon children's children, his justice for those who keep his covenant. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting upon those who call him in fear. Hear his voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Come, let us praise the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to his hometown, and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue, and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, Where did the, the man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him and these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Jude and Simon. His sisters, too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is despised only in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. And he could work no miracle there, except that he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The people of Nazareth, the hometown of Jesus, find great wisdom in what Jesus said. And there is an authority behind all his actions, performing miracles. But they are too familiar with him. There is an English saying which goes, familiarity breeds contempt. That when people know a person too much, they will not respect that person, but they will not expect much from that person. There is a tendency of putting a person in a kind of bracket so that one can even manipulate that very person. Jesus is too known to his hometown people that they don't accept his goodness and his greatness. And it is not so dif different from us the things that are far away from us appear 
to be more attractive than those we have nearby us. And it may be we are too used to the people we stay with that we do not expect anything new from them. Many times we take them for granted because we know who they are and above all we know even their weaknesses. So they have almost nothing to tell us. And all that is maybe that we close ourselves in our own categories that we are not open for something new. The question for us posed by the word of God for us today would be, do I appreciate the goodness in, or in the people I stay with in my community, in my family, in my workplace, or am I too used to them to expect anything new and worse still perhaps to expect anything good? Many times we relate to one another on the basis of the biases and the prejudices we have, especially those arising from the weaknesses we have known of people. God is inviting us to keep on practicing seeing goodness in others. And just as the first reading has encouraged us, correction may be there because a person, a brother or a sister is weak, but this correction is meant that goodness may shine out of that brother or that sister. So we are encouraged to keep on training. It is as if we are on a, a training session to always see goodness in others. And let us remember that that goodness begins already in us. If we, we see it in us, and out of the treasury of our goodness in the heart, we shall be opened to see the goodness in others before we judge them on account of their weaknesses. The Lord is with you. My dear brothers and sisters, that this our offering may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands. hands. 
for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ the Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may all be gathered into one by the power of your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your child spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cyprian, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Blaise, Saint Ansa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God, our mighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Obedient to the Master's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Yeah, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. For Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. A blessed and a fruitful day to you all. Same to you, Father.